There's a couple of different ways to approach this problem, 3 fourths times 20. One way is to change 20 into an improper fraction. And as an improper fraction, 20 would be 20 over 1. And then we just have a multiplying fractions problem. So we have 3 times 20 for the numerator and 4 times 1 for the denominator. We could multiply that all out, get 60 over 4, and then simplify this. 60 over 4 equals 15. We could also simplify within the problem. So we could say 4 goes into 4 once, 20 goes, uh, 4 goes into 20 five times. Then we just have 3 times 5 is 15, and 1 times 1 is 1. So we get to 15 right away. Another way of looking at this problem is we can think of it as 3 fourths of 20. And then we can ask ourselves, well, what's 1 fourth of 20? 1 fourth of 20 is 5. So if 1 fourth is 5, 3 fourths is going to be 3 times that. So 3 fourths is going to be 5 times 3, which is 15. So in this problem, we have 3 fifths times 30. We can change that to 30 over 1. We can then multiply the numerators and the denominators. We can see if there's any way we can simplify, and there is, because 5 goes into 5 once, and 5 goes into 30 six times. Multiply across the top, 18, across the bottom, and we have an answer of 18. We can also think of this as 3 fifths of 30. To do this just in our head, 1 fifth of 30 is 6. So 3 fifths of 30 would be 3 times that. 3 times 6 is 18. 6 sevenths times 56 would be 6 sevenths times 56 over 1. 6 times 56, 7 times 1. This is an example of one where you really do want to cross simplify because if you did not cross simplify, you'd, you'd be doing 6 times 56 and then dividing it by 7. 7 goes into 56 uh, seven, or 8 times, and it goes into itself 1 time. 6 times 8 is 48, and we have 48 over 1, so our answer is 48. We could also think of this as 6 sevenths of 56. 1 seventh of 56 is 8, so 6 sevenths would be 6 times 8, which is 48. And one last problem, 4 fifths times 15 can be thought of as 4 fifths times 15 over 1. We have 4 times 15 and 5 times 1. We can simplify. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 15 three times. 4 times 3 is 12, and the denominator is going to be 1. We can also think of this as 4 fifths of 15. 1 fifth of 15 is 3. So 4 fifths would be 4 times 3, which is 12.